In the last video, I talked about how you could create a merged workbook, uh, which dynamically draws data from several other sheets and keeps it updated so that any changes you make here will in turn be affected here as well. Place from for George is Alabama now. Place from is Alabama now. <clears throat> the next thing I wanted to show you is now that we have all of the information displayed in a merged sheet, how do we now take it to the next step and filter this information so that you can just show uh, the results of a uh, filtered search? Uh, matching certain conditions uh, in multiple columns. Um, I mean, one way of uh, doing it each time is by pressing this filter button. When you click on the filter button, which is available in the tab called data here, these little downward pointing arrows will appear for each of the columns. And this will allow you to filter out things uh, that are relevant for you. Let's say, for example, you only want to show the rows for individuals who are from Alabama, as in these four cases, uh, but who have a one code for desertion. So the way we would set this up is by clicking on this here, and that'll create, it'll uh, pop up a window that looks like this and uh, we can either manually select here or type in what we want to filter by and you'll see immediately it's now showing only those rows that have Alabama. Um, but we still haven't filtered by the desertion uh, category so we can add a filter to that column as well. Clicking on the downward facing arrow, and here let's say we only want those that fit category one. And now you'll see that we're only showing three rows those uh, that are for people from Alabama and who fit category one in the desertion column. Now, the problem is if you, if you turn off the filter, or try another filter, you've now lost that filter. There's no way to get it back without building the filter again, unless we use something called the custom view uh, feature. Uh, so let's try this again. Filter, place from, Alabama, category for desertion is one, Okay, and now we can create a custom view for this. This is not creating a new sheet. This is saving a particular view, including its filter settings. Uh, you can do this directly from the menus here, custom views in the view menu. Uh, but I would recommend adding yourself a shortcut in the menu bar up here. To do that, go down here and add more commands to the custom ribbon and toolbar and switch to all commands or commands not in the ribbon and just start typing custom And as you see, nothing happens uh, the way that I imagined it would. Okay, so ignore that last instruction. And just scroll to the alphabetic. Uh, uh, oh, I know what it is. Uh, it's in the view tab, I think. Custom views, there you go. Ignore that last instruction. Um, and add it to your, your quick access toolbar. Uh, now you can't see it, but there's a save button down here. Click save and close the preferences. And you'll now see you have this new button here called custom views. Okay, so our filter is still turned on. So we're now filtering by place from and desertion. 
and we want to save this filter. So click on custom views, press plus, and give, give a name to your view. Give a name to the question that you've asked this particular filter. So uh, from Alabama desertion. Uh, and here you can see we're saving the filter settings in this view. Now, if you were to ever click again here, you'll see that saved view here. So you can create lots of different types of filters, and each time you filter out for some particular kind of data, you can save that as a custom view so you can go back and view it later. You can also delete it by pressing the minus key here. Okay, so... Now if I turn my filter off, uh, let's do another filter. Let's say uh, people who enlisted uh, in 1862 and who are, why not, let's say people from Alabama. I mean, obviously, I only have a couple of example rows here, so this is not terribly interesting analysis we're doing, but imagine you have hundreds of rows uh, and you'd be filtering something out. Uh, now I can create a new custom view by pressing plus from Alabama 1862, for example. Now, if I want to go back and see the other filter, I just click the, this one here and click show and you'll see that it switched the filter to the one that we created before. If I want to go back and see the other one, I simply go back here. At any time I can turn the filter off in the data tab and restore the view uh, such that it shows all available rows. Okay, so that's the way that you create a bunch of custom views um, to see uh, filtered information uh, based on conditions that you set uh, with matches for individual columns.